Hello everyone and welcome in new Let's Play. I decided to start on my channel. This game was requested by one of my friends, but anyone else who find my video enjoyable, well, if you do, then have fun watching them. But let's begin. Long ago, when the evil samurai warlord was banished the first time, an era of peace and tranquility descended upon the empire for more than 300 years. The dark castles he had built were abandoned and slowly fell into ruin and the villagers across the countryside no longer lived in fear. As the years went by, the secret of the powerful Kujin magic was hidden away in ancient shrines and the people of the villages and towns went back to farming and going about their daily lives. Then one day, something changed. Terrible storms began to brew over the mountains on the distant horizon. Floods and earthquakes began to appear in the floodlands. Looking down from the mountain where the ninjas lived and trained, the ninja master could see that something was terribly wrong in the world. Animals were seen fleeing for their lives. Some spoke of mysterious figures hunting and caging animals for some unknown purpose. The truth was that the evil samurai warlord had returned and had started raising an army of evil minions to aid him taking over the world. He had begun using forbidden Kuji magic to twist evils into animals, transforming them into mindless samurai warriors. The warlord would send them forth to recapture his castles of old and use them as a basis for terrorizing the surrounding countryside. There was just one flaw in his plan. By using the Kushi magic in such a way, the evil samurai warlord was once again upsetting the balance of nature, bringing the wrath of the gods down upon the earth in the form of ravaging storms. The larger his armies grew, the worse the storms became. The ninja master knew none of this yet, though he knew that something must be done to get to the bottom of this mystery. It was his sworn oath to protect the balance of nature, an oath he could never allow himself to break. A decision was made. The ninja master sent his most skilled ninja on a quest to discover the source of the storms. Many suns and moons passed, and no word from the ninja returned. The master sent another of his best, but again, nothing. Again and again, he sent his ninjas forth, but again and again, not one of his agents returned. Soon, there were only two ninjas left, and there were the last ninjas he would have ever chosen to send on such a perilous quest. But it appeared that the fate of the world could lay in the hands of these last two. Yeah, what a thrilling history. So anyway, I think the way how I'm gonna record this is I'm gonna upload the each level individual video. with the village headman below the mountain to see if he knew anything of our missing ninja friends. He did not. Instead, he had strange tales to tell. He had seen samurai moving in the forest across the river, bearing a mysterious crest on their flags. The samurai were apparently hunting animals and taking them deeper into the jade stone forest. The only thing that lies in that direction is the old castle, but that fortress has long been abandoned. Or so I thought. Hero, I need you to quickly finish your training. You must set out down the mountain and travel to the castle. Perhaps there you will find some answers to this riddle. To help you on your journey, the Tengu have woven you some special huts at my request. These are no ordinary things. They have been made of a special weave which can turn an arrow, among other things. 
hurry to the dojo and speak with Zen. He will complete your training. When you are finished, I will be waiting for you at the main gate of the village. Yes, now I have my heart. Great. Uh, I need a second to remind myself controls for this game. I think. Ah, good morning. It feels strange in the village with all of your ninja friends gone. Does it not? A strange mystery. Ah, yes. Strange mystery indeed. So for people who are not familiar what this game is, well, it is the action. This is the action game. For a second I wanted to say this is also a platforming game, but there is not much platforming here. You're just going from point A to point B, killing everything on the way. <clears throat> from time to time reading those notes left by your friends. Uh, so yeah. The ninja master intends to send you to discover the source of the storms. You must draw up on your training, young ninja. That is no mission to take lightly. Mm hmm. Now, if I can remind myself which button is. Actually, I think sprint, that is the skill which I can unlock. Which is quite odd, like I never heard the ability to sprint, you know? I thought the sprint for character is the default ability that you can use already, like since the beginning of game, and not something unlockable, but I guess in this game you have to unlock it first. So you finally decided to show up, hero. The ninja master has instructed me to finish your training as quickly as possible. Today's lesson will be very different than the others. I will go over the basics one last time. Then you will be given your final test. Now, attempt to attack my assistant here when he appears. Sure. Well done, Hilo. Excellent. Now follow up with a quick attack. Very good, Hilo. You have done well. Of course, it is a rare thing that the ninja is confronted by only one opponent. You will almost always find yourself outnumbered. Now you must apply the lesson with my teachings in mind. Eh? Defend yourself. Yeah, sure. Actually, this is very successful way to fight with enemies. So those guys are dead. Die. There we go. Excellent. You are improving, young one. You know what, Hero? You'd better get up the hill and track him down. If you take the main door from the dojo and go straight up the hill that way, you will probably find him hanging around. Go fetch him and return. But be on your guard at all times. Yes, yes, yes. So now we have to find my friend. Um, yeah. And in this game, if you are lost, you can press... Mm-hmm. can press the button to summon this arrow. And I really think the sprint is unlockable ability, which makes no sense, to be honest. Yeah, truly. Oh yeah, I need to save before. There we go. This is, by the way, the hard difficulty. Or at least I think this is hard difficulty because I changed setting to not play on normal. Instead, I pick hard, but I don't know. In first level, you you actually cannot even die, technically. 
or for the first like 10 minutes because this is all just a tutorial the real first level is the level after this one so yeah as you can see so far we learning so far we learning and i hope volume of this game is okay okay forgot i said you cannot die you can die here but yeah. Mm hmm. No. This is not good, you know. Come on. Just give me this. There we go. Yeah. I had a feeling sprint is unlockable ability, so now we can sprint and my health is restored, great. And as you can see, sprint takes away stamina, but that's okay. It makes sense. So here is my friend. Let me get to him. You know what is quite odd? You can do all this parkour, but only in certain places where game wants you. You know? Like you cannot run along every single wall in this game. Although running along the wall it's quite difficult, you know? Because you have to jump on wall uh, on specific angle and if you jump wrong Yes, yes, we have our friend now. If you jump on wall wrong you either fall or you will not run along the wall But just vertically up uh, so yeah, you have to be very precise in what you want to do. Hi. Thank you found him. Sometimes I wonder what you would do without each other. Before you continue with your training, perhaps you should call your friend Futo. Your friends are always nearby, ready for you to call at a moment's notice. Oh, Futo, it is good that you finally showed up. I think that it is time for a little hammer practice. Attempt to defeat my assistants now. Ah, uh, sure. have passed since one has shown promise in the way of the magical Kujiro. You are the first pupil I have ever had, in fact, with such a gift. Kuji magic will allow you to tap into the natural energy flowing through the plane of spirits which exist in parallel to our own. First, I would like you to conceal yourself as only a ninja can. Go and hide yourself in that tall grass over there. Sure. See my assistant standing up the path. While staying in the tall grass, sneak up on him and attack him from behind. Attacking targets like this will deal extra damage and be unblockable. Excellent, Hiro. Defeating your opponent will use the red energy spear. Now. Focus the unstable energies you have just collected. When you're ready, begin your attack. This will throw you into the spirit world momentarily. In that mode, you can target enemies which are... Yes, but this attack is really fucked up, you know, because... 
It's like 50-50, it depends from where enemy is standing and sometimes your character either missed or take damage during that. And I believe it is a bug and not supposed to happen. But it is very useful thing anyway because it kills, yeah, even up to 5 enemies if you have upgraded version of this. Mm hmm no problem. So I guess it was... I don't even remember. It was over there, right? Yeah. I really like... <coughs> I really like music in this game, you know? Ability to remain unseen. Use stealth to your advantage, young one. Thanks. Where it was exactly? No, oh, it was over there. So, for people interested, yes, there are collectibles in this game, but collecting those makes... Actually, not... doesn't make sense to me. Like, there is no any reward for collecting all other than your satisfaction, so yeah. If there would be some sort of reward, like achievement or something, it would make sense for you to collect them. But if it is just for your satisfactions, there is no point. Or at least there is no point for me. Hi guys. Uh, so there goes two, there goes three, and there goes four. So I believe this is where we have to go. Here or maybe not here. I'm not really sure. Take you long enough to come and visit me. I have a very ancient scroll here for you, which I have held for many years in safety. It holds the secret of great magical energy, what we call a Kuji spell. In his wisdom, the ninja master has decided that you, Hiro, are the first ninja since those ancient times to be instructed in the Kuji art. When the ninja master decided to scatter knowledge of Kuji magic long ago, he hid the scrolls which contained these spells in ancient shrines in the wilderness. The spell which you have just learned will help you to locate those shrines. Try it now. The yes, and you have to collect the spells from those shrines because only those spells can hurt the final boss. It is very... very awful trick, you know? Because it looks like something optional, but no, it is necessary to collect those to finish the game. So, yeah... Mm-hmm. Basically, you have to follow those butterfly to find the Kuji shrine, but I know where it is. So I don't think I need it. It should be close somewhere here. Yeah. This leads there. And to activate the Kuji Shrine, you need to find a special flower. Uh huh. And the firefly always pointing out there is Kuji Shrine nearby. So if you cannot find. Yeah, Almond. This special flower can be used to activate shrines. So yeah. 
The entrance to hide and magical area are marked by presence of fireflies. This is pretty much what I said. And this is the shrine. Now let me collect all those items to craft some some herbs and healing potions later on. Yeah, spirit form. Allows hero to cross over into plane of spirits for a short time. Once there, his spirit can enter into other living creature to influence their behavior. I mean, in current form, this spell is completely useless. Truly. I see that you succeeded in locating and unlocking the spell. Very good. The ninja master was right. You do seem to have the talent. With it. You can cast your spirit for longer periods into the plane of spirits. Once there, you can attempt to enter living things such as animals to possess and control them for a period of time. Excellent hero. Enemies will find it more difficult to spot you in this smaller form. You will also find that animals have a keen sense of smell for tracking valuable collectible items. As well as ingredients for potions. Well done. You can now possess animals you meet in the wild. There are many different species in our village alone. Your training is done. You should seek out the master at the town gates. I will return now to the temple. Stop by if you want to learn about potion mixing. Yes, yes, yes. As I said, this spell is completely useless. Uh, so yeah, let me just pick this. And play with this for a while. Mm -hmm. And I believe from level to level your health doesn't replenish, so... Yeah, you have to eat some... Mm-hmm, some fruits to replenish your health and they are yeah so those Jesus Jesus statue are collectibles and I never found all of them on on pretty much any level just because they are incredibly well hidden. And as I said, for collecting all, there is no any reward. Now we have to go back all the way and we're gonna finish episode once we're gonna find our masters, but... Yeah. First we have some more birds to kill. Come on. There we go. Yes, 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 give me this. So, can I buy something from you? So, you have returned. One of the things we can offer you at this temple is to share our knowledge of herbalism. Yes, I can buy this, which is like... Pretty much only one at the best. From all. Mm-hmm. Good luck, Ninja. May your troubles be fruitful. Yes. And if you are curious what you need to create those, you need those two. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not gonna use healing potion through this entire gameplay. Through this entire playthrough, I mean. Because I, even if this is hard mode, I played this game long enough to know what to do. The same, I don't really wanna use this, yeah, this arrow, I don't really wanna use that, you know? Because it feels like easy mode for people who play in first time and they don't know where the hell to go. I know I can trust you with this task. 
You are the youngest of all the tribe, but still, there have been no ninja for three centuries who has shown your skill in the Kuji art. Even though you have just begun to learn the Kuji way, you show great promise. Remember your teachings. They may aid you well. You must travel down the mountain through the Jade Stone Forest. Follow the main path from there, and it will lead you to the castle. I fear these strange samurai may be coming from there. All my hopes go with you, young one. You must understand that the balance of nature must be preserved. Without it, all could be lost. Go now, with haste. Sure. So it's not over level yet. There is a little bit more. But we are more than halfway in this level. And here are some real enemies. Oh, why did it? <sighs> why did it? I don't know. I guess being healthy is not for me. And no, no any fruits to replenish my health. This is quite bad, you know. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So yeah, nothing here. Yeah, hi guys. Oh. Yeah, they do it nice damage. There we go. So that's like it. Now, luckily... First of all, let me pick this. I said I'm not gonna use healing potion and I won't, but I'm gonna eat some fruits from this little tree. I hope this is gonna be enough to replenish my entire health. I really have a hope. Yeah, it's enough. So as you leveling up your character, you get him more health, more stamina, uh, or better special attacks. But currently we are like level 1 or level 2. <sighs> yeah. And there is not much what we can do with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You still alive? Die. There we go. That was better. And I'm pretty sure that's all the QG here. Yeah, if there is no more the shrines on the level, those butterflies just disappear. So yeah. There is this route here, so I take it. And I think now we can go to exit. can go to exit and this is gonna be like 30 minute video. Uh, you wanna jump from the wall to wall? Please? Or maybe you don't want to. There we go. I don't know, running on wall seems to be a little bit bugged in this game. Luckily, the the sequence where you have to run on wall to progress barely are a thing. Mostly you just going going forward ahead. 
<sighs> fighting with enemies, but that's okay. I prefer fighting than platforming. That's okay for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure this is it. Yep. So, this gonna be... Yeah, this gonna be it in this episode. I hope you had fun. As I said, this game was recommended by one of my friends, so I'm recording this let's play. Mostly for him, but for anyone else who find this enjoyable, well, have fun. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, check the order and see you next time. Take care.